guys, so I've been in a little bit of a dilemma lately with the carnivore diet, but I think I'm gonna move more towards a plant-based way of eating. So I am so excited. I'm going to show you guys what I eat in a day as a vegan. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Billy Boy is gonna be no longer, but it, it's okay guys, this was in the garbage. Nobody eats this stuff. Nobody sees it, who cares? And, and I mean, just like, like that plastic that's, that's going in the ocean, I mean, I needed to buy my vegan food today. I, oh my god, guys, I love starting my day with some lemon water. It like, totally alkalizes the blood and deacidifies the digestive system. Even though your stomach always maintains an acidic pH and your blood is always slightly alkaline, I can totally feel it cleansing my blood and like, detoxing my body. And uh, the reason I put a cucumber in here is because most people tend to overhydrate in the morning. Hydrating in the morning is great detox for the liver, but we have to make sure we don't drink too much water. You don't want to dilute your body of minerals and electrolytes. So what I like doing is I take the cucumber and I either lick it or I usually suck on the cucumber. And the reason I did this is because I think this is how we would have usually obtained our, our liquid in nature. We wouldn't have just like chugged mason jars full of lemon water. Although this is more convenient, uh, we can definitely replicate uh, what our uh, indigenous and native ancestors would have done in a more realistic way. I mean, I, I love doing this all day. It's like an amazing way to stay hydrated and just, it just makes me feel so good. Okay guys, so we're going to go outside and pick some melons for breakfast. Hopefully it will help clear up my brain fog and get me started for the day. Okay guys, so this is my melon tree and I know it's like the end of winter and there's not much fruit left, but thankfully this should be enough for today. So I'm just gonna take this inside. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll cut it up, okay? But this looks good. I'm just gonna put the camera down and then I'll bring this inside. Uh, but while I'm out here, I just wanna get some dirt for my B12. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of snow. Uh, maybe like there's a spot. Okay, so here's a good spot. So what I usually do, uh, I mean in the winter, the ground's kind of hard. So I don't, I don't usually have B12 in the winter as much as I normally do. But I usually get some anyway. See, like we can get some, we can get some B12. So I'll just take some and I'll bring it inside, and, and that should be enough for the day because normally we only eat a little bit of soil on our fruits and vegetables. Oh my god, guys, this is so amazing! And there we have it guys, me and my boyfriend, I mean, my girlfriend just love using, I mean, eating melon in the bedroom, I mean, in the kitchen, it is just like my favorite thing, it's so sweet and delicious. And here I have the uh, coconut yogurt, it's like nothing like dairy, it's like creamy, it's white, it's like luscious, uh, but it's nothing like dairy yogurt, it's, it's like, it's like coconutty. That that's what it is. It's it's so good. It's it's nothing like like milk. Like I don't I don't eat that stuff. I'm I'm plant based, and I just put a little bit of maple syrup on it to make it just a tiny bit sweeter because it's not that sweet. There's only like 15 grams of sugar in the coconut yogurt, and the cantaloupe wasn't too ripe either. Uh, maybe I'll put a little bit more uh, sugar on this. So the, the cantaloupe's okay, it, it's not really that sweet. Uh, so what I like doing is I like dipping the cantaloupe in the coconut yogurt.
And this is so delicious, guys. I can't tell you how much me and my boyfriend, I mean, my girlfriend love having this for breakfast. One thing I wanted to show you guys is that sometimes I do have oatmeal, but the problem is you need to soak oatmeal to reduce the anti-nutrient content. I think it's called phytic acid, or is it phallic acid? No, it's definitely phallic acid. And what you do is you soak the oats for two weeks in water and they begin to sour. Uh, the issue is I depleted uh, the water table and I'm waiting for the water company to turn my water back on. So uh, these have just been hanging out for a little while. Uh, so maybe next video. Guys, I was just about to leave the house, but I'm still a little bit hungry. So I'm just gonna have a quick snack. Okay guys, so here I have a bowl full of dates and figs. Uh, normally I just use dates, but uh, the figs are a little cheaper and my boyfriend, I mean my girlfriend isn't paying for this, uh, this food anymore. So I uh, gotta be a little tight on the budget. And these aren't that sweet, so what I like doing is just adding a little bit of maple syrup to the dates and the figs. And what this does is it gives them like a nice caramelly flavor, and it makes them so nice and like sweet. Normally I put the chia seeds on my yogurt in the morning, but I forgot today, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the dates and the figs. Oh my god guys, look at that maple syrup, it looks so good. Oh my god, guys. This is like adult candy. Vegans are just like, we're just like such children at heart, guys. This sugar, oh my god. I, I feel so good. Like, I can run through some drywall. Like, vegan food makes you feel so amazing. Now, uh, I just gotta go. Let's take some supplements. Oh, hey guys. Unfortunately, on the days I'm plant-based, I go to the bathroom a little more than I'd like to. So I got this cute little toilet golf set to like practice my hand-eye coordination uh, when I'm in the bathroom. Are you guys sure that we digest these chia seeds? I'm just like, I'm just like not 100% on that one. Hey guys, I'm at a local pond and I'm just a little bit confused as to where the algae is supposed to be. I mean, I know it's supposed to be at like a uh, body of water. But I don't know exactly where it is. I don't know if you guys see any algae here. I mean, this is a pretty big pond, right? The ponds don't get much uh, bigger than this. But I don't see any algae. So, um... I mean, if any of you guys are in New York at this time of year, can you let me know where you get your algae from? Maybe it's just like not a winter thing and we only need to get our uh, DHA when there's algae. Is algae only in the summer? So for lunch, I'm gonna show you guys how to make my coconut bacon cob salad. And I only sprayed enough pesticides to kill like 50,000 insects and rodents to, to get all of this food, but that's okay. We don't we don't care about those tiny little eh, eh. So uh, to make the coconut bacon We need some coconut chips You just take the coconut chips you mix them with some maple syrup some coconut aminos and some apple cider vinegar What I do then is I broil them in the oven for just like a few minutes to get them nice and crispy and oh my god guys this is nothing like bacon, but it's so good. It's like, it's like crispy, it's salty, it's sweet. It's like fatty from the coconut, but it's like, it's totally not like bacon. It's so good, guys. Oh my God. So for the actual cup salad, we need, of course, some lettuce. I have my tomatoes, my avocado. I have some corn here. And then I have some cannellini beans. And this like gelatinous liquid in here, that's just the lectins that are gonna push all the anti-nutrients through our gut lining and give us leaky gut. That's that's no big deal. Uh, we also have the dirt from earlier. That's gonna be our B12. And we need to make the dressing. And I think every vegan has these ingredients in their pantry. I mean, we use like the same ingredients for everything. It's like no big deal though. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna do four parts olive oil. We're gonna do one part apple cider vinegar, one part coconut aminos. It has to be super salty and sweet. And then just like a little bit of maple syrup. So now I'm gonna put like a pinch of salt in there. I'm just gonna shake this up. 
Okay guys, so now we have our dressing ready. So now I'm just gonna chop up all the vegetables and get everything together. I'll see you guys in like four hours. Okay guys, so here is the coconut bacon cup salad, of course. We have the coconut bacon on top. We have the cannellini beans, the corn, the tomatoes, and the avocado. And that, oh my god, that maple syrup, apple cider vinegar dressing on top. Oh, it's so good. I mix it throughout the leaves of the lettuce. And this might look like a lot, but it's, it's really not a lot of calories. It's mostly water. And cows, if humans were cows, we would be able to fit like like five gallons of fluid in our stomach at once to ferment. So I feel like this is on my way to, to being back with nature and how humans are meant to be like herbivorous creatures. So let's try a little bit. And I, I really like getting every single part of this. Mmm. Oh my God, guys. This is so amazing. You guys have to try it. Oh, you guys know how much I just love bananas. Uh, my slave friend, Enrique, picked this for me personally in South America. And you guys know, I just need to keep my blood sugar like, like that, you know, just up and down and up and down. And I think it's okay as long as our blood sugar is at like a median throughout the day. You can have as many bananas as you want. We all know that natural sugar is good for us. Like, I don't know guys, like all this food is coming out the other end, but you guys keep saying this plant-based diet is so good for you. So I'm just gonna ignore all my body signals and keep doing it. For dinner guys, we're gonna make General So's chicken. It's so good, it's just like chicken. No, I mean, it's it's not like chicken, it's so amazing. Uh, we're gonna use tofu, so uh, first we just have to take our tofu and we have to marinate it in anti-nutrients. Uh, today my choice is some oxalates that are in the coconut aminos. Oh, and guys, just make sure that your tofu is non-GMO so you feel good about putting this laboratory poison in your body. Okay, guys, so I got my tofu marinating in the coconut aminos. Uh, you could kind of do this overnight. I usually just do it for a few minutes before I cook it. Okay, so while the tofu is marinating, uh, we're gonna make the dressing. So the dressing is gonna be pretty similar to what we had earlier, except we're not gonna add the oil. You know, oil is pretty bad for you. You wanna use as little as possible. So we just have some coconut aminos, some apple cider vinegar, and just like a little bit of maple syrup for a little sweetness. Oh, and don't forget that pinch of salt. It really brings out the sweetness in the dressing. Okay guys, so I put a little bit of oil in a nonstick pan, and here I have some cornstarch. Okay, so guys, what we want to do is take our rancid omega-6 fat, dipped it in like refined starch, and then we want to oxidize it some more in some omega-6 oil. That's so we can oxidize it in our body better and like turn it into cancer and heart disease. Okay guys, so we're just gonna get this nice and crispy and golden brown on every side. I don't eat tofu as much as I should. I know it's like a really, really good source of protein, but my dog used to love tofu and Unfortunately, he is no longer with us. I mean, I swear, like, all he used to eat was tofu. Okay, guys, so here's just some rice that I made earlier. And we're gonna put the tofu on top. And now for the dressing. Oh my god, guys, do you hear that crunch? This looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god, guys, this is, this is like, this is crazy. I mean, if you put this much salt and sugar on anything, why wouldn't you like it? If you guys have been wondering, Frankie, where's the blender? Don't you guys worry, because we are going for a ride in the blender today. Because we are making nice cream. And here I have three bananas that I had in the freezer. I usually take more than three bananas at once, but this is gonna be good for today. So they're in the freezer because that's what we need to make the texture of the ice cream. 
Uh, here I have some nut milk. Any really fat, heavy nut milk will do. Those are my favorite. Here I have some cashews. I have an army of Ghanaian workers in Africa uh, picking these for me. They're working really hard to get these over here so I can make my nice cream. Here we just have a little bit of salt uh, to bring out the sweetness in the nice cream. And of course some dairy-free uh, cacao nibs because we're plant-based. So we're just going to put in about a third of a cup of cashews, a pinch of sea salt, the dates, two tablespoons of coconut milk, and just a couple of tablespoons of cacao nibs. And of course the bananas. Oh my god guys, that looks so good. I heard that like if you crave cold foods you are anemic, but it kind of makes a little bit of sense because when you eat something cold, it stimulates like blood rushing to your brain, it like excites you. And people that are anemic, like their blood cells aren't delivering enough oxygen because of the lack of B12, but I, I don't think that's what it is. Before I played golf, I used to like be on my phone in the bathroom and my like roommates would be like, Frank, what are you doing in the bathroom all the time? They think I'm like doing something weird. Like, I don't know what they would think like I'd be doing in the bathroom. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you can, please like, subscribe, and share the video. My dental bills are getting really expensive. So if you could check out my Amazon and my Patreon down below in the comments, uh, that would really help me out. I mean, these pearly whites, like, I had to brush my teeth like, eight times today so i'm also on twitter and i'm on instagram guys but enjoy the rest of your week